Preparing for a job interview can be nerve-wracking, especially when it comes to behavioral questions. This video will guide you through the most common behavioral interview questions and provide effective strategies to answer them confidently. 1. Tell me about a time when you had to work closely with someone whose personality was very different from yours. In my previous role, I worked with a colleague who was very extroverted while I am more introverted. Initially, we had some communication issues, as she often dominated conversations and I tended to be quieter. However, I understood that our different personalities could actually be beneficial to our work. We had a frank discussion about our differences and agreed to find a balance. I began to take more initiative in sharing my ideas, while she made an effort to listen more actively. This experience taught me the value of diversity in a team and how to effectively communicate with people who are different from me. It also helped me develop my leadership and interpersonal skills. 2. Describe a situation where you had to step up and take on a leadership role. While working as a project coordinator in my previous role, the project manager unexpectedly resigned. The sudden departure left a significant void in the team, and the project was at risk of falling behind schedule. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, I volunteered to take on the project manager's responsibilities until a replacement was found. Despite not having much experience in a leadership role, I knew the intricacies of the project, and I was confident that I could keep it on track. I started by clearly communicating the situation to the team, reassuring them about the continuity of the project. I then coordinated with the stakeholders to keep them updated about the progress, managed the project timeline, delegated tasks to the team members, and made sure everyone was working cohesively towards our common goal. My proactive approach not only ensured the smooth completion of the project but also helped me develop my leadership skills. It was a challenging yet rewarding experience that has since shaped my approach to work and leadership. 3. Give an example of a time you faced a conflict while working on a team. How did you handle that? While working on a project at my previous job, I encountered a team conflict due to differing viewpoints on the project direction. One team member strongly believed we should take an entirely different approach than what we had initially planned. Instead of letting the disagreement escalate, I suggested we all take a step back and reassess our goals and objectives for the project. We then held a meeting where everyone was given the opportunity to express their perspectives. We critically evaluated each idea, based on its merits and alignment with our project objectives. By fostering open communication, we were able to reach a mutual agreement and the conflict was resolved effectively. This experience taught me the importance of clear communication, active listening, and collaborative problem solving in managing conflicts within a team. 4. Tell me about a time you were under a lot of pressure. How did you handle it? During my previous role, I was responsible for managing an important project with a tight deadline. The pressure was immense and there was no room for errors. I prioritized tasks based on their urgency and importance, delegated tasks to team members according to their skills, and monitored progress closely. I ensured that communication was open and everyone was aware of their responsibilities. In terms of dealing with the pressure, I made sure to maintain a healthy work-life balance. I actively practiced stress management techniques such as regular exercise and meditation. Despite the pressure, my team and I were able to deliver the project on time and to the client's satisfaction. 5. Describe a time when you had to convince someone to see things your way at work. In my previous job, I was part of a team tasked with developing a new marketing campaign. I had an idea that differed significantly from our traditional approach, but I believed it was a more effective strategy. I knew it would be challenging to persuade my team to deviate from our customary practices. I started by conducting comprehensive research to back up my arguments. I then presented my idea, alongside the evidence supporting its potential effectiveness, in a clear and concise manner. The team was initially hesitant, but after I addressed their concerns and pointed out the potential benefits, they began to see the merit in my proposal. After several discussions, they decided to give my idea a try. The campaign turned out to be one of our most successful ones, demonstrating the importance of considering new perspectives and strategies. 6. Give me an example of a time you made a mistake at work. How did you handle it? During a project, I accidentally sent out an internal draft document to the client. Realizing my error, I immediately informed my supervisor about the mistake and sent an email to the client apologizing and clarifying the situation. I reassured them that the final version would be sent as soon overall. I learned from this experience that double-checking all content and recipients before sending an email is crucial. 
From then on, I always took extra care to ensure I was sending the right documents to the right recipients. The incident taught me a valuable lesson in diligence and communication. 7. Tell me about a time you had to deal with a difficult customer or client. I was working in customer service at a tech company when I had to deal with a client who was upset about an issue with our product. He was quite irate and began to raise his voice. I remained calm, listened attentively, and reassured him that I would do my best to resolve his issue. I engaged in active listening, repeating back the problem as I understood it and asked clarifying questions to ensure I fully grasped the situation. After a thorough understanding, I offered a solution that would not only fix the immediate issue but also prevent it from happening again. The client was satisfied with how I handled the situation and thanked me for my patience and understanding. This experience taught me the importance of staying composed under pressure and taking the time to understand a customer's concerns fully. 8. Describe a situation where you had to meet a tight deadline. How did you manage your time? As a project manager in my previous role, I was faced with a situation where we had to deliver a major project within a very short timeline. The client had moved the deadline forward by two weeks. This was highly challenging, but I knew that with effective time management, we could meet this deadline. Firstly, I reassessed our project plan and broke it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. I then prioritized these tasks based on their importance and urgency. This was followed by allocating specific tasks to team members based on their skills and strengths, ensuring their workload was balanced. Secondly, I implemented daily status meetings to keep track of progress and address any issues promptly. This proactive communication was vital in keeping everyone informed and aligned. Lastly, we used project management tools to track our progress and adjust our plan as necessary. By doing this, we were able to stay focused, maintain productivity, and successfully meet the tight deadline. 9. Give an example of goal you reached and tell me how you achieved it. Here's an example from my previous job as a project manager. We were tasked with launching a new product within a very tight deadline. My goal was to ensure that we successfully launched it without any delays or significant issues. I began by creating a comprehensive project plan, outlining each phase, key tasks, and responsible teams. I also established clear communication channels to regularly update all stakeholders about our progress. I closely monitored each phase, identifying potential roadblocks early and addressing them proactively. If any unexpected issues arose, I made sure to quickly devise and implement effective solutions. I also motivated my team by recognizing their hard work and encouraging them to share their ideas and feedback. Through meticulous planning, proactive problem solving, and team collaboration, we were able to launch the product on schedule and it was well received by our customers. This accomplishment was a testament to our team's dedication and my leadership skills. 10. Tell me about a time when you had to go above and beyond to get a job done. During my previous position as an event coordinator, I was tasked with organizing a large international conference. Due to unforeseen circumstances, several key team members were unable overall to attend, leaving me and my team with extra responsibilities. It was crucial to ensure that the event ran smoothly, as the reputation of our company was at stake. I took the initiative to not only fulfill my tasks, but also those that were left unattended. This involved coordinating with international delegates, arranging logistics, managing registration, and resolving last-minute hiccups. I also stayed late several nights to ensure every single detail was accounted for. In the end, the event was successful and we received much appreciation from our clients and delegates. This experience taught me the importance of resilience, adaptability, and maintaining a positive attitude, even in challenging situations. 11. Describe a time when you had to make a difficult decision at work. In my previous role as project manager, there was an instance where our team was about to miss an important deadline due to unforeseen technical issues. The decision laid on me whether to ask the client for an extension or to deploy the project with some minor bugs and fix them later. This was indeed a tough decision as it could impact our client relationship and team's reputation. Weighing the consequences, I decided to take the risk of being transparent and asked for an extension from the client. I explained the situation in detail, ensuring them that we prioritized the quality of our work and didn't want to deliver a product that was not up to our standards. Surprisingly, the client appreciated our honesty and granted us the extension. This experience taught me the importance of transparency and quality in maintaining good client relations. This decision, although difficult at the time, turned out to be a step in strengthening our relationship with the client. 12. 
Tell me about a time you failed. How did you deal with the situation? During my tenure at an advertising agency, I was tasked with leading a project for a major client. Despite my team's hard work and dedication, the campaign didn't perform as expected. It was a bitter pill to swallow, but we had to accept that we had failed to meet our objectives. Rather than let this setback deter us, I used it as an opportunity for growth. We conducted a comprehensive review of the project, identifying where we had gone wrong and how we could prevent the same mistakes in the future. We learned from our failure and used the experience to improve our future work. Our subsequent projects were successful, largely due to the lessons learned from this experience. It reinforced my belief that failure can be a stepping stone to success if dealt with constructively. 13. Give an example of how you set goals and achieve them. My goal-setting process begins with identifying the desired outcome and then breaking it down into actionable steps. For instance, when I was tasked with increasing our social media engagement by 20%, I set this as my main goal. The steps to achieve this included creating a content calendar, developing engaging posts, and actively responding to comments and messages. To track progress, I monitored the engagement metrics daily, adjusting our strategy based on the results. Through consistent efforts and fine-tuning, we exceeded our goal by achieving a 25% increase in engagement within the set timeframe. 14. Tell me about a time you had to handle multiple responsibilities. How did you organize your time? During my previous role, I was tasked with managing multiple projects simultaneously. This required a keen sense of organization and clear communication with my team. I started by breaking down each project into smaller tasks and assigning a timeline for each one. Using project management tools, I was able to keep track of my progress and ensure that I was on schedule. Daily check-ins with my team were also vital in keeping everyone in sync and addressing any issues promptly. By diligently planning, prioritizing and delegating, I was able to effectively handle multiple responsibilities without compromising on the quality of work. 15. Describe a situation where you had to work effectively under pressure. In my previous role as a project manager, there was an incident where two key members of my team were unexpectedly out of the office due to health issues just days before a major project deadline. The task at hand was critical for our client and postponing the deadline was not an option. I quickly took stock of the situation, redistributed the work among the remaining team members, including myself, and set up a revised action plan. I communicated effectively with the team to ensure they understood the urgency and importance of the task. Despite the pressure, we managed to deliver the project on time and to the satisfaction of our client. This experience taught me the importance of adaptability, quick decision-making, and effective communication in high-pressure situations. 16. Give an example of a time you showed initiative on the job. In my previous role as a project manager, our team was working on an important project with a tight deadline. As the deadline was approaching, I realized that the current pace of work wouldn't allow us to complete the task on time. Without waiting for my manager's instructions, I took the initiative to reorganize the project schedule, redistribute tasks among team members, and arrange for additional resources. I also took the responsibility of communicating with the client to negotiate a more realistic deadline. My proactive approach not only helped in completing the project in time but also relieved the team from unnecessary stress. This approach was appreciated by my manager and the client. 17. Tell me about a time you had to learn something new for your role. How did you approach it? As a project manager at my previous company, I was required to learn how to use a new project management software to improve efficiency in our department. The software was complex and I had no prior experience using it. I started by dedicating an hour each day to familiarize myself with the different features of the software. I watched online tutorials and practiced on the software by setting up dummy projects. I also reached out to the software's customer service for clarification on areas I found challenging. Within two weeks, I had a good grasp of the software and was able to train other members of my team. This experience taught me the value of self-driven learning and persistence in mastering new skills. 18. Describe a situation where you had to deal with an upset coworker. In my previous role at a tech startup, I dealt with a situation involving a coworker who was upset about the workload. He felt that he was being given more tasks than others on the team, leading to increased stress and lower productivity. I approached this situation with empathy and active listening. I took time to sit down with my coworker and let him express his feelings without interruption. 
By acknowledging his feelings, I was able overall to validate his concerns. Next, we reviewed his tasks together. By doing this, I was able to help him prioritize his workload, identify areas for delegation, and suggest tools for effective time management. I also suggested he speak with our manager about his concerns, and offered to join the conversation if he felt it would be helpful. Over time, he was able to manage his workload more effectively and his stress levels decreased. This experience taught me the value of patience, understanding, and effective communication in resolving workplace conflicts. 19. Give an example of how you've contributed to your company's team's success. During my time as a project manager at XYZ Inc., I played a significant role in the successful completion of a major project. This was a cross-functional project with team members from various departments. My role was to align all the members towards our common goal and make sure we meet the deadline. I introduced an effective communication strategy that included regular status updates and team meetings, which ensured everyone was on the same page. I also implemented a risk management plan that helped us anticipate potential issues and devise appropriate solutions. These strategies led to the project's completion two weeks ahead of schedule, saving the company a significant amount of resources. I believe this is a clear example of how I've contributed to my team's success. 20. Tell me about a time you had to motivate others. How did you do it? Working as a team leader in my previous job, we were assigned a project that was quite complex. The team was feeling overwhelmed and morale was low. I understood that it was my responsibility to uplift their spirits and motivate them towards completing the task. I organized a team meeting where I shared each person's strengths and how they contribute uniquely to the team. I emphasized that every person's role was crucial for the success of the project. I also ensured that everyone understood the project by breaking it down into manageable parts. During the course of the project, I consistently appreciated every team member's efforts and celebrated small victories. This helped in keeping the team engaged and motivated. As a result, not only did we finish the project on time, but also delivered exceptional quality work. This experience taught me the importance of inspiration and recognition in a team's success. We hope you found this content valuable. If you did, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. We are always here to assist you in your career journey.